So today I had to take all my pictures, my paintings out of the car to haul trash. So today I'm going to photograph them all and put them on eBay. I'll probably go back to the art, Saturday art festival after the holidays, um, just because it's fun. I don't really expect to sell anything there. I've only sold on eBay and then at that Running Springs Festival. So. so I can do more original. I think I have a lot of the different techniques down, but if I don't, if I need to know something specific like clouds, waves, leaves, there's a tutorial on specific things. So I don't really have to watch those Bob Ross paintings anymore. I just need to practice and try to perfect it some and take the time. I just get busy doing other things. This is a painting I've been working on. This was is what you'd call an original. When I got here to Ajo, it was dark, and I came up the steps, and I started shooting video of their outdoor patio area as we walked to the door, and I got that first view of um, Ajo after dark with the lights in the city, and so I snipped a frame of that movie and uh, made made what I wanted to paint. So I've been painting off that little snippet of the movie that I took that I posted um, on Thanksgiving night. I was gonna give it to them. I don't think it's worthy. I'm still working on it. I'm having trouble with the tree and showing light from the window. Um, so I'm still working on it, but if it gets worthy to hang, <laughs> they can have it if they want it. I'm glad you got to come to Ajo. Mm -hmm. So, how's your uh, school life going? It's you going still like great. that one girl? Yeah. What's her name again? Melody, but I don't even know. You don't know what? I don't know if I like her. You know, you're going to be liking lots of girls before you finally get married at age 30. You're not going to marry before 30, right? <laughs> I'm just teasing you, but it's better if you wait a little while. That way you grow up and you know what you want. Um, so tell me about your skiing. Who's your instructor? Emily. Emily. And do you have your own skis or you rent them there? I rent them. A lot of kids in your class? I have private lessons. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, that's cool. So you still on the bunny slope? No, I went on the I went on the chair. Did you really? Yeah. And you came down? Yeah. Is that when you fell? Yeah. How many times have you gone up? That would be six. I mean on the sixth. So you're time you're not even fell. on the you're not even on the bunny slope anymore. Yeah, on the sixth time I fell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's exciting because I love to ski. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll be able to get back skiing again or not. Yeah. I should put this on pause. Well, I had a... Did you see my Christmas video? No. Where I gave the cats Christmas presents? Mm -hmm. That was my last one. I got a new electric scooter. Did you? Yeah. Battery, right? Yeah. You know, I got my son one. And they were gas powered back in the day. That was back in like 1998. And oh, they didn't that's have, a I don't long think, time. I don't think they had electric That was back before then. I was even born. Yeah, and it was a gas powered thing. Yeah. But now they have electric ones. Yeah. 
So, can you go up the road in it? I haven't even tried it yet. I haven't even opened the box yet. He used to zip around town on that thing. I thought he was going to break his neck. Mm -hmm. They're kind of dangerous. Be careful. I think there's a light on it. Really? Yeah. If you go out in the dark, like now. Yeah. What about that picture that you drew? This one? Yeah. Do you know where that is? This house. Yeah, it's up on the landing. Yeah. I took a video on Thanksgiving night mm -hmm. as I'm walking up the stairs and I walk up and I see a beautiful city down below. I was so impressed that I went back in the video and I cut a, a frame out and posted it so I could paint the picture of it. But I'm not done with it yet. I got to figure out what to do about the tree. The tree's a mess. And I got to finish the stuff over there. You think it's okay? You think it's pretty good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Really? I like it. Yeah. You think your Kevin and your mom would want it? I wanted to give it to him. Yeah. Okay. If you think it's good enough, I'll let him have it. But I want to finish it. There's a few more tweaking things I want to do. It's a very good one. Oh, good. That's, sure. that's what you call an original. Yeah. I did that one too, but I copied off somebody else's picture. Yeah. Yeah. I went to that. So what have you been doing on your break? Um, doing a lot of stuff. Really? Like what? Like playing video games. Yeah. <laughs> How many times have you been skiing already? Twice. Twice? Really? And they got you on the inter in intermediate slope already? Mm -hmm. If you're on the chairlift, you're probably going up to the intermediate. Yeah. Wow. Do you enjoy it? Soon I'll be doing jumps. Yeah. You gonna get into snowboarding? I know young guys like snowboarding. When I was there, I saw a lot more snowboarders than skiers. Yeah, the kids like that. My kids did. I never got into that. But, but I love skiing. And if you get decent at it, you can be a snow patrol and get paid and ski for free. Yeah. Yeah. You get a little older. So do you get some good stuff from your dad? Yeah. Look at my kitty's fountain. I got him a drinking fountain. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I think it needs filled. It's kind of a pain to mess with, but you know, they seem to like it. So do you want one of my stuffed ornaments to remember me by? What stuffed ornament? Pick out one of the stuffed ornaments if oh, you want one. Nice. Yeah, and you can put it on your tree next year. You say that one came from candy. space to put it in but I thought it would fit. I was going to leave it up and decorate it for uh, Easter and then 4th of July and Halloween and what else I was just going to keep decorating it for different seasons but you know if I travel I can't put the slide in with it up so I'm going to go ahead and take it down yeah where will you be going I don't know. I don't know. I have no clue. I would like to go back up to the mountain, but I don't know if there's going to be a place for me to go that would be cheap, you know? What about uh, Metco? Well, they, they rented to the wizard guy, so it's not really available unless he doesn't work out. I don't know how that's going. I'll have to ask Kevin. But I don't know. We'll see. That'll, that'll take me where I should be. I don't worry about it. I kind of want I kind of want you to paint a picture of a flat desert landscape but at the end you could add a giant smoke cloud just rising up oh, like an atomic bomb cloud just like a, like a, a bunch of smoke black smoke coming out of the ground like a explosion happened 
atomic bomb in the middle of the desert. That's probably happened a few times. They used to drop bombs. You know what you're going to hear here? This is your second time here? Yeah. It's, there's a base. I don't know if it's an Air Force base, but they're flying jets. It sounds like a war zone around here. There's just rumbling jets. And they broke the sound barrier twice since I've been here. Yeah. You know what that is? It goes boom, and everything shakes. That's because they break the sound barrier. They go, no, it's like they're flying their planes faster than, than sound. And it causes an explosion in the air. Research it on, Google it next time you're on a computer. Okay. And they're, they've done that twice since I've been here. I mentioned it to a guy that I met at the dump, and he said they're not supposed to be doing that, like breaking the sound barrier. But he heard it too. I mean, the first time it was like a loud boom. And the second time it didn't seem as loud. I'm getting used to it, but um, no, it sounds like a war zone around here with the jets flying yeah. around. You'll hear it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And everyone that's watching the video, I'd like you to, me, Candace, would like you to like and subscribe and comment where Candace should go next. And the most, and the most amount of comments that tells about the same place she will go there yeah yeah <laughs> and send money for gas please <laughs> um also you can buy my paintings on ebay i've listed them under candy's catmobile rv life i don't know if you can find me on ebay like that or not um if you google blue barn in the meadow that will take you to one painting and then you can find the rest once you find one but um i'm starting to list all my paintings on ebay and i have free shipping well so melody's bit the dust huh yeah i think so after i drink my coffee all the other cats they took off didn't they Where are they? uh there's furby furby Furby's oblivious to anything that's going on. I saw a cat under the couch. A black and white cat. I think um, Daisy might have gone behind the kitchen cabinets. She I, likes to go back there. I saw a black and white cat under the couch. That would be Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Jeffrey Dale. The one the with thing. the white mouth and yes. black. Yes, that's Jeffrey. Yeah. They've been having a good time around here. There's a neighbor, the people next door, um, have a a gray cat, you know, looks like a barn cat. And he comes down here. I know he's here because I can hear the cats growling at him. So I'll go out there and he just looks at me. He just kind of creeps around like, you know, he's being stealth. So I try to reach him pet. I almost pet him today. But he comes to visit. The cats don't like it. Play with the doggies. I'm gonna leave now. Okay. Okay. It was nice chatting with it's you. It's nice chatting with you. Give me a hug, and I'll be seeing you. Okay. While you're here. I'll see you too. When you get your uh, thing put together and okay. you're gonna go out on the road and test drive it, let me know, and I'll I'll take my bike out and I'll ride beside you. It's probably gonna be dark when I try when I test it. Really? Yeah. I think your parents are probably gonna wait, have you wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. Probably. All right, be careful. Okay. I'll be careful. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. It took 24 hours, but I finally see a cat using the fountain. Makes me happy. It'll be cool when they figure out they can lick it while it's running. Most cats figure that out pretty fast. Some cats like you to leave your sink running. Years ago when you had a well, it was no issue. Now it costs money. When are they gonna start charging for air? You know what? They're gonna, they're gonna figure out how much air each person consumes and bill you for it. Mark my words. <laughs>